Ohio's arts and creative industry has continually suffered the highest unemployment rate than any other industry. Experts estimate statewide organizations have suffered a combined loss of more than a billion dollars since March of 2020. New at 6, 2 News reporter Kiana Deitches is talking to local organizations trying to get back on their feet. Despite health restrictions being lifted, many arts organizations are finding it hard to fully reopen and are facing even bigger hardships, making up for financial loss. With empty theaters well into 2021, Ohio's arts and creative industry continues to feel the impact of the pandemic. It's been a challenge for sure. A survey of 40 organizations by Ohio Citizens for the Arts found a combined loss of over $136 million since March last year. Dayton Live alone lost millions. The organization now battling the hiring crisis to get back up to speed. On March 10th, I had about 250 employees and, um, you know, as we got into the late summer months of 2020, at one point we were down to 26 employees. Maintaining the theaters has also been a struggle. When buildings go unused, things happen and then all of a sudden you try to turn it all back on at one time and find some things that maybe need some help. 92% of the org's budget comes from earned income. Sutton estimates they made all but 5% of that during the pandemic. Down the road, the Human Race Performing Arts Theater is a nonprofit, but is also facing significant loss. If we balanced our budget, paid for all our expenses on earned revenue, I would have to charge $155 per seat and sell every seat for every show. Today, the organization launched its second online production with the help of state funding. We got the PPP loans, um, and it is the reason I was able to bring my staff back when I did. Phil Byrne and Sutton say they're optimistic, but expect a slow recovery. And we're going to be juggling this for the next couple of years. Kiana Digest 2 News, working for you.